Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 39 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So you can see in this V P V graph, we have the process C D A A B C right in square to describe uh, to us the multiple process. So you can see the known quantity is given there. And now we can see the first part we need to determine the change in internal energies E A to E C. We look at here E A to E C. So this is the internal energy. Do you agree? It looks like we need to find the Q C A and then the work done the C A. Then we check there we don't have them, but we have Q A to C Q. W A to C. It looks like we can find the internal energy change from A to C, right? In this equation, the Q A C minus the W A C, right? And then what's the relationship between the E C A and the E A C opposite directions? Agree. So there we add the negative side to de describe its negative, the reverse operation. And then this part equal to the QAC minus WAC input the known quantity inside these two, we get answer zero. The next one we look at tell us if the gas is taken along the path of so CDA. This time we look at the CDA. The work is uh, W, this one is given, so WCDA is given at zero. Now ask you how much Q is added to the gas in this process. It so looks like we need to find Q, C, D, A, right? So for this part, normally, how can we connect the Q with W? We consider the internal energy changes, right? So we can say internal energy changes for C, D, A equal to Q, C, D, A minus W, C, D, A. Agree? Yes, this part is given. And in this part, we need to know, can you find this part? Yes. We can see C, D, A just equal the internal energy change. C, D, A just equal to internal energy change. C to A, right? So this part is given in the part A. Therefore, we can get the Q, C, D, A in this equation. The next one. It tell us the ratio between PA and the PD and ask you how much work is done by the gas in the process A, B, C. So it looks like we need to look at A, B, C, right? This part we need to compare it. But in previous, we worked on all the process on C, D, A, right? So it looks like we need to from C, D, A to get the result from A, B, C, right? Now we can see, um, can you write the work done by the, by the CDA? Yes, we can see the work done by, it should include the work done by the CD and the work done by DA, agree? And for DA, you can see the volume is constant. So this, this process DA didn't do any work. So the work, this this WDA is zero. So the work do the, uh, do the work, the process do the work is CD. So this part, we have the WCDA equal to WCD because this part don't do work, right? And then we can write it as the PD equal times the VD divided by VC. Agree? Yes. Now, next part, we look at the A, B, C. It looks like if we want to compare A, B, C, how can we do that? We can write it as, uh, you can see, A, B do the work, but B, C, did the B, C do the work? No, because for B, C, the delta V is zero, right? So, therefore, W, a, B, C just equal to W, A, B. So what is the W, A, B? 
WAB is PA times the VB minus VA. Agree? Therefore, we can use this term divided by the term 2. See? This is the left hand side. This is the right hand side. Right? And also, we can say this is a perfect square. So that means we have this uh, relationship. This side length equal to this side length, just in the opposite direction. So this brings a negative side here, right? This term, this term can cancel. Now, do you know the ratio for this part? Yes, it is given 2.2, 2.2. Now, next part, you need to find AB. How can you get, do, get that? Did CD is given? Yes. CD, it tell us 38. Agree? Therefore, we can find the AB as negative 2.2 WCD. And then get answer there. The next part, we need to find the Q for the A, B, C. See? In previous, we find the work done by A, B, C, right? Now we need to find the Q. The Q. It looks like we need to find the internal energy change for A, B, C at first. So this part is given. This is unknown. Can you find this part? Internal energy A, B, C. Yes, because this internal energy A, B, C we just get from part A. You can go back to see how we get the internal energy change A, C, right? You input it inside, you can get this Q, A, B, C, right? The next part tell us the energy changes A to B is 15 joules. Ask you the Q in the B, C. So in this part, um, how can we connect the Q with the internal energy change in this function, right? Just for B, C process. You can see the internal energy B, C equal to Q, B, C minus W, B, C. Now we look at W, B, C. At this process, the volume never change. So make this term zero. It looks like if we want to find this Q, we need to find the internal energy B, C, B, C. Can you find it? Yes. Because we can see this internal energy B, C just equal to C minus B, right? C minus B. But what is given is about A and B. So in this case, we can replace this uh, B, E, B as E, A minus 15, right? And then we find that this term can be right as the internal energy change, A, C. This part is given. Then you input it inside, you get it. After you get the delta E, B, C, so you can get the Q, the heat, Q, B, C at zero. Thank you.